Hello, my name is Kerry Arth, and today we are going to have a little chat about the fact that you don't need to be pro to be proud. I'm aware that the title slash intro to this video is a little bit contrived, but just bear with me. The footage for this video comes from a stream that I did a couple of weeks ago where I sat down to paint the Xeno Dragon by Archon Studios, and I went into this with a very clear idea as to what it was that I wanted to do. See, this thing is very clearly inspired by the Xenomorph, as you can <laughs> clearly tell the moment you look at it, and I wanted to do something similar but not the same. The same kind of blue sheen that you see in some of the, some of the scenes from the various alien films, Let's be honest, some of the later ones, it's perhaps better to just forget that they existed at all. I'm looking at you, Alien vs Predator. But that was the kind of basis for this thing. I wanted something similar to that, but with the contrast, the brightness, just the overall vibrancy really turned up. Something that would stand out nicely on the tabletop, but still have a nice kind of recognisable feel to it, if maybe a bit more ethereal. Now, of course, the technique that I'm using here, it's not anything particularly special. In fact, it's only the one. I haven't done anything else to this model. I just did a bunch of dry brushing, building up from black up to dark blue, and then highlighting a bunch of all of the raised areas with ice yellow, and then going back over it with more blue, a lighter blue, and then highlighting again. It's pretty simple, standard stuff, but it all came out pretty much exactly how I wanted it to. And that, for me, is pretty rare, if I'm honest. Now, obviously, this thing is not going to win me any golden demons. It's not going to get me first, second, or even third place in any decent painting competition. But the fact is that for quite a long time, I hated painting at all. I didn't want to do it in any capacity. That's only changed in the last year and a half to two years. And while I have got better, I've still kind of find myself telling people that I'm not a good painter. Telling people that, actually, I don't tend to do all that well with painting, that I'm kind of passable and that's about it. And I think for a lot of the time that might be accurate. But this is one of those rare occasions where I think I'm actually properly proud of something that I've made without there being any caveats to it. See, something that I'm very good at when it comes to finishing a paint job or getting partway through a paint job is looking at it and deciding that it's it's mostly how I want it. It's worked out okay. There's bits that I could improve, there's bits that I should do better. I don't like this bit, I don't like that bit. That bit hasn't worked out quite how I wanted. This is a very common occurrence for me where... I like something that I've done, but it always has conditions, there's always strings attached. I mean, it's not just when I paint stuff, that also applies to just miniatures as a whole. I'm pretty nitpicky, as a lot of you know at this stage, but that's just kind of how I am. I very rarely find something that is 100% to my taste. There's always something that I'd quite like to be a little bit different. But this time round, with this particular model, I've actually found myself looking at it and not wanting to change anything. Normally, I want to shift some of the shading, I want to make certain areas brighter or darker, I want to emphasise certain bits that I didn't emphasise, and I end up being happy but also a little dissatisfied. Now, for whatever reason, I'm just not getting that with this particular paint job. And the thing is, it's not even done yet. I haven't finished painting this model. The base still needs to be done. The teeth, the claws still need to be sorted out. In fact, there's still an entire little baby alien head within the larger Xeno Dragon mouth, of course, a very familiar thing, that needs to be painted full stop. But the fact is that even though it isn't complete, I'm still looking at it, and I'm just happy with it. Not just happy with it, but actually kind of proud of it at that.
that's pretty much what's prompted this video, because I know that I'm not going to be the only one who sits there and just goes over their own stuff over and over again, picking out little things that you wish you'd done better, picking out stuff that you know you could have improved on, but for whatever reason it just wasn't happening that day. I know I'm not the only person who looks at what they do and struggles to be proud of it. A lot of the time, because I follow so many very good painters on Twitter and on Instagram, I find myself comparing what I do to them, which isn't really the right attitude. You should always try and learn from people who are better than you, without a doubt. If there's an artist that you are particularly a fan of, using them as inspiration, as a driving force for improving in what you're doing, is healthy. It's not just healthy, but it also gives you something to aim for. The thing is that you shouldn't really compare yourself to those people. You should be comparing yourself to you. You should be looking at what you've done in the past, what you've created previously, and judging it against that. If you've been aiming to improve, and if you've been aiming to do better, and all you do is look at what you've done recently and go, well, it's okay, but it's not quite what I wanted, you're not going to be able to build enthusiasm for getting any better, which I think is something that I know I struggle with, and I'm assuming a lot of other people do as well. The fact is that in terms of like overall quality, this is a lot better than most of the other things I've ever painted. In terms of how smooth it is, it's better than things like the Chaos Knights that I'm really happy with. In terms of things like the edges and raised areas being nicely highlighted, it's better than the tanks that I've been painting, which I'm happy with. In terms of a balance between quality and time spent, it's far better than anything else I've done before. The fact is, it's not pro-painted. I'm not a professional painter, I'm not going to win any competitions with it, but I don't actually care about that. I don't really care how it looks compared to anyone else's. This time round, I'm just kind of proud of it for what it is. I'm just proud of it because I went in with an objective and I managed to achieve all of that without having to second guess or go back and correct. I managed to go all the way through painting this without ever having any moment of suddenly deciding that it just wasn't going to be good enough, which frankly is kind of rare for me. I guess the overall takeaway from this whole video, from that stream, from painting this model the way I did and it coming out the way that it has, is that you should be proud of what you do. You should actually take pride in the models you paint. Even if you think that they're not living up to the painters that you look up to the most, those painters didn't paint them. You did. And you should be proud of it. And if you can be proud of whatever you're painting now, then just imagine how proud you're going to be of what you paint in six months' time. Thank you very much for watching. I know this is not the usual from me, and it's maybe a little bit too self-indulgent, but hey. If you can't look at something you've done once in a while and be happy about it, then what's the point, right? Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.